Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Geelong District Football League qualifying final on this Sunday at Thompson's Godfrey Street Ground. It's Thompson and Eastern Suburbs in the seniors this afternoon for the qualifying final. The winner to meet Bannockburn next Sunday in the second semi-final for the Geelong District Football League. And as I welcome my co-commentators this afternoon, if it was a four-goal four breeze yesterday for the Bell Post to Werribee Central's game, it could be about a ten-goal breeze today. King to the right of screen. It's blowing an absolute gale here at Thompson this afternoon. Ron Brain and, well, he's made the, the sojourn down from uh, Stinton Avenue from Newtown this afternoon afternoon he's been doing Newtown games for the whole of the season he's decided to come and join the, us here at the Real Football this afternoon Noel Fanning and Ron Brain good afternoon the boys are back in the van and we've already had a couple of arguments between each other so it's been a big afternoon of football and it should be a great game out here between the arch rivals around the corner the neighbours here Thompson and Eastern Suburbs Ron good afternoon yeah good afternoon Jason great to be here conditions yeah as you say a little trickier here this afternoon very blustery wind and uh, it's going to make skills a little treacherous early stages Noel what do you think yeah, it's certainly going to favour to the right of the screen, which is the uh, Port Arlington end of the screen. Would you say is that how you call it out here? How do you say this at uh, at Tom? the Coinscliff end of Thompson? Would it be? Okay, I knew you'd pick another town down there. Okay, the uh, left of screen is the city end. Correct. Okay, and I do agree with you, Ron. It's uh, it's very blustery out here, and I must admit I am pleasantly surprised at the condition of the playing surface. Actually, it's uh, been yeah, it was great yesterday. A little bit of rain uh, yesterday during the match between Bell Post Hill and Werribee Centrals, which uh, Centrals got up in the second half and defeated Bell Post Hill by 13 points. The middle is uh, still a little bit glassy there for the for the players, but uh, yeah, much better than what we saw a couple of weeks ago, Ron. Came out here and it was an absolute mud pit. It was a quag. I can't believe how they've got the ground to be as good as it has. Easy, simple. You ever heard of cricket covers? <laughs> yes, well, yes. they have been using them uh, for three weeks now. <laughs> well, so they have guess. Is that right? They have <laughs> no, been they have been, yeah. They right. had them out two last night after the game, uh, the, the elimination final. Well, that's, that's pulled that's them good. straight out, yeah. So, Well, both sides, they played a fortnight ago, and Thompson got away from Eastern Suburbs in the second half for a 40-point victory here at Godfrey Street. So uh, last week we saw Werribee Central's to travel to Eastern Suburbs, and the Eagles got up for third spot. That's why they're here this afternoon for the qualifying final. A couple of changes both sides. Mick Lovell, the reserves coach for Eastern Suburbs, is in the side for the Eagles this afternoon. And uh, for the Thompson side, well, Jamie Back was still there. We didn't know whether he was going to be in or out of the side, but he is in. And I believe that Mick Gann, who was named in the side, is not going to play this afternoon. He comes off the ground as a Sammy Fortner, the emergency umpire. And with him is Mr Todd, the chairman of selective of the umpires. And Toddy, if you give David Rhodes a final, you are a dickhead like he was yesterday. And the same goes for young Grapsis. They were shocking up there at Newdown yesterday. Well, the umpires here uh, this afternoon, Damien Fox and Bob Beatty in the, cent in the uh, middle and I'll tell you boys you better be careful because Noel's on the rampage this afternoon for uh, umpires uh, Barry Walker do you remember Barry Walker? <laughs> How can we forget Barry Walker? Well we got Barry Walker to score the umpires out of 10 up at Newdown yesterday and Barry called a very good game along with Chris Aikman and Barry actually gave them minus 4 <laughs> Well, we, we scored them here yesterday too. Damien McMaster and Darren Sanders. I was, I was kind. I gave them three and Ronnie gave them one. So Barry, minus four. Minus four That's they got. sensational. Yes. And there they are with their flashing their lights right on the other side of the ground. Mark Hepworth and Luke Bolcher on the boundary and Peter Lug and John Hill are in the goal squares for the umpires this afternoon. So a big game for them as well as the uh, sides here. Boys, selections this afternoon. Noel. Oh, look, I'm going to go with the uh, home side. You're going to go with Thompson? Oh, I'm not allowed to say that. No, you? well, you, you, can. <laughs> <laughs> you have. You're going for Thompson. And, uh, yeah, I, 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 I tend to favour Thompson. Love to see, uh, for uh, Mickey Thompson's sake, yeah, the suburbs to get up. But I think, yeah, the home ground advantage is going to favour <coughs> Thompson considerably. Now, the, the centrals? You put them Damien up? Fox and Bob Beatty. Yeah, Bobby Beatty will do all right. Foxy's a bit of dimwit too. Uh, well, oh, I'm going for Eastern Suburbs <laughs> only because I picked them in the record. I should have picked Thompson, but there you go. I'm going to go for Eastern Suburbs. <laughs> Good luck. Start of the first quarter here for the qualifying final 1996. Here we go, umpire Fox puts the ball down. Reuter and Taylor had a big tussle a fortnight ago. Back in it again. Radford's going to get the first touch. He can't get a kick away. On the ground there, Fulston for Eastern Suburbs. McGough straight through without the footy. Though. There's Timmy Gard and the Whitley medalist this year. He won it on Monday night in his 200th game today too. Mick O'Leary, he's playing his 100th game for Eastern Suburbs today as well. Free kick picked out by umpire Beatty. It's going to go the way of the Whitley medalist, Tim Gardner. He's going to have the first effective kick of the day. Yeah, well done, Timmy. Congratulations too to uh, an absolute legend uh, of the Thompson Tiger land. And uh, his kick done not a good one. It allows Brett Loughton a long bomb. Uh, all almost 80 metres. Beautiful kick down a half forward. Uh, the grapper, the orator. Can he pick it up? No, he can't. Good pressure there from young Irving. And it's out of bounds. Right, left forward uh, flank. About 55 from... Uh, Let's have a look at the Eastern Suburbs goal, who have uh, got a considerable advantage in the first term. They certainly have kicking to the right of screen. Four or five goal breeze, you'd say, Noel. Oh, without a doubt, uh, Jase. 
Lang gets the tap down towards McGough in that ruck contest. Also there, Chris Gardner, Fulston, makes a way for McGough. Pulls a Thompson player off the ball there. That was Nan Curvis. Still at the bottom of the pack there. Irving tries to get it over to Lang and Reuter. Reuter on the badge line can always do something special. And I think he's always oh, just missed. He always pops up with the uh, crucial goal at stages. But he's kicked one behind on this occasion to get the scoring underway. And just for our listeners sitting around the uh, ground in their cars, listening to 94.9 Guest FM, a couple of changes. Number 41, Mick Lovell for Eastern Suburbs in your program. And... Uh Listed as number six, Andrew Aitchison for uh, Thompson. He's wearing 14. Ball comes out towards Lamb on the wing now for Thompson. They're going to try and drive it for the leads on from Menzies. Collins is right next to him. It just bounces inside the boundary line. Menzies can't take the mark. And the boundary umpire to come around and do some work at half forward for the uh, Thompson side. And uh, some big matchups today. Wembridge has got the job on Nan Curvis on the wing there for Eastern Suburbs. So a big matchup for him and a big matchup in the ruck. Reuter and also Taylor. Falls towards Richardson. One step kick towards for the fourth pocket. Cowan leads out. Means he's there as well. Both dangers. Rowbottom's got the job on a plug of Cowan at full forward this afternoon for the Eagles. Yeah, that's a good matchup, Rowbottom. He's and, played uh, well. He played Cowan. well last week when we saw him, didn't he? Yes, yeah, certainly. And uh, a good selection there from the coach, Mickey Thompson. A little bit disappointed there with Menzies. I thought he hey, could get the ball into play. But uh, it's out of bounds. Uh, left forward pocket. McGough, quick hands. Good work to uh, uh, Andy Reuter. The runner-up in the Whitley medal. Kicks to centre-half forward. Under pressure. Or oh, the big man, Chunky, who got first touch of the leather in the qualifying final for 96. A first on a guest video and GDFL footy for 96. But the, uh, there's been a mark paid or a holding charge, and it's going to go the way to Peter Grozanovsky. It's the Shark at centre-half back for the Suburbs. Goes into the middle. There's not too many Eagles players there. Smith and Aitchison. Smith's got it, but he's tackled. Good tackle, two in there by Loughton. Radford can't pick it up. Smith at the bottom of the pack again for the Tigers. And it's going to be umpire Beatty to come well, that, in and put the ball down. That was a free down. kick yesterday. I can't figure this one. <laughs> it's got me beat. These blokes aren't paying them. Yesterday, if you did that, you were, you were pinged. Is that the word inconsistent for the umpires this season, Noel? Well, I think that the idea is there too, Noel. It keeps the game as a spectacle. It keeps. We don't want to see the umpires bounce down all the time. You know, he's picked one out here. That's good. That'll break the play up. Yeah, but he, he didn't. He didn't. Yeah, but it's got to be there though to pick it. Yes. Yes. It's got to be there. You can't just be picking out free kicks for the love of it. Taylor goes wide to the coach. He'll get a game next week. Goes to Richardson on the wing. Gets around on his left foot. Oh. Tries to go short towards Gardner, and also the echoes there. Hits oh, the boundary umpire. Hands back into play off the boundary umpire's leg. Otherwise, it would have went out of bounds. <laughs> well, is, that, is that play on? Is it? <laughs> yeah, it is. Cool yeah. play on. Well, it is out of bounds now. The boundary umpire, a bit more work to do on the left half forward flank for the Tigers. Good throw in two, nice and high. In front, Smith tries to tap into the advantage of Lamb. O'Leary's there, Gardner straight through again as always. Him and Richardson, Gardner over the top of the ball. McGough, yeah, big I... tackle. Umpire Fox says it's mine and he'll have the ball yeah. on the half forward yeah. flank. Well, that's totally different to yesterday's umpire. And uh, Sam Faulkner has a mucked around. He's straight out on the ground already as the emergency umpire. He uh, obviously needs a bit of a run. I don't know what he's worrying about. Bounce down by umpire Fox. Reuter goes up. Good little tap. It doesn't get to any it, suburbs player. O'Leary at the bottom of the pack there also. <laughs> uh, there for Eastern Suburbs was Hobbs. McGough. O'Leary a little toe pokes. Richardson though traps it. Pushes it out towards about four Eagles players who run on the ball. One of them's Hobbs. Oh, gets tackled high. No free kick. Nan Curvis is there. Picks the footy up at half forward. Short little kick smothered by Reuter. Still follows it up though. Wembridge straight through as well. He's a direct opponent. He gets knocked heavily there by Cowan. It was too high, says umpire Fox. Rubbish. And Shane Wembridge at half back to take the free kick. Good hip and shot there from Mark Cowan for mine but Wembridge he's okay he kicks the ball to the outer side of the ground good kick too to the Shark oh only put one hand up and dropped the head Shark not good should have hit it forward but now the radar comes in dumped by David De Burke I should say yes it was the dashing halfback flank of a Thompson put him to ground rather strongly and uh, the radar gets up a little bit worse for wear that was interesting to see what Sam Fortner did. He ran over there and then he ran up to the uh, water boy on the fence and, and on the bottom of the pole no and said something. No need back. for them to be on the ground, no? Is that what it was? Correct. Out of the bounce down there. Wembridge on the wing now. Tackled. Pushed out towards Fulston. Handball smothered. Richardson straight through. Good play. Can he get around Reuter? Yes, he can easily. Then he's tackled though by Radford and it was dropping the ball. It was a throw. And it's going to go against Richardson there. Terry Radford to take it. Just on the defensive side of wing. In fact, he's been pushed back to half back now on the outer side. Eagles kicking with the advantage of a breeze here. Goes towards McGough. Can't take the mark. Lang at the back, roving. Tackled. Tries to push it. Oh, holding the ball. Oh. Well, yeah, he let yeah, it go. Okay, Good right. umpiring. He, yeah. he had the ball, was tackled, and just dropped it. Stein. Instead of punching or kicking, good decision, umpire. Stein then to take the free kick at half back on the outer side for Thompson. Pushes into the teeth of the breeze. Grozdanowski in front of Smith. The Shark takes a mark. Good mark, too. And uh, he played pretty well last week also against the Centrals. They'll be looking for a big game against the Tigers this afternoon. The Suburbs have got up now. He's changed the direction of the play. There's too much mark kick. They've got to utilise their run. Now, 
you know. Thompson was running past. O'Leary should have given it to him. He's gone back and taken another kick. He goes long towards Lang at centre half forward. Reuter behind Gardner as well. Was it a push? No, it wasn't. Comes to Reuter. He'll finish this off. He loves goals like that. Good job, Sam. And Robbie Reuter has put the first goal on the board. <laughs> they are your friends, aren't they? One, one Eastern Suburbs, and Robbie Reuter has Sammy them all. Faulkner. He's Sammy Faulkner's done a better job than David Rhodes did all day yesterday, and he's on, the, on his emergency. I didn't know he was Ron Brian. Unbelievable. <laughs> one one seven Eastern Suburbs. Thompson yet to score. They're kicking with a bit of a breeze in the first quarter of the Suburbs. And we've been going four and a half minutes in this first quarter on the LBW Charlie Counts first quarter scoreboard. Noel, say something constructive. <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry I upset you then, Chris. No, that, I noticed that uh, the big fella Chris. in the ruck... Chris. Thanks for that. No, this is, uh, this is Jason. Jason. You're back in the JDFL now, mate. I'm not Chris, okay? Back in the centre. Richardson takes it now from the ruck. Tab out. Oh, goes with a screw punt back towards full forward. Rundle can't take the mark. Falls to plug it. Can he get away? No, he can't. Then oh, he throws it. it. Yeah, he threw it. And is that 50 from McFarlane? Could have been. Gary, oh, whistle was a bit late, less. fellas. Let's be fair to yeah. the players. Whistle yeah. was very late on that occasion. Good boy, Sammy. Get that kid off the and, ground. Uh, <laughs> yeah, good pressure. He's, good he's pressure. done more than the central umpires at the moment, hasn't he? <laughs> <laughs> Living on the ground. I noticed that uh, the big fella, 23. Yeah, Taylor. Chunky. He's playing a kick behind the yeah. player, not going back in defence. Mm-hmm. End of the forward line, sorry. Well, Rowbottom's got the uh, free kick from that throw. Goes towards Loughton, who looks to be playing uh, a little bit up the ground this afternoon. Goes towards McGough now on the wing. Gets under his left boot. Draws oh. the player and kicks over the top to Irving. He's at 50 now. The youngster turns around. Tries to kick low towards Allison. He can't take the mark in front. Atchison on hands and knees. Then he gets up. Kicks for the safety of the boundary line. It might not make it, though. O'Leary's chasing it. He's got Lamb right next to him. Radford comes over to Shepard for him. Was that off the ground? Yes, it was on the full. Yep. Good call, Noel. And the boundary umpire picked it up as well. It was off Lamb. And Michael O'Leary will take the free kick. As it turned out, Mick O'Leary scooped the ball back into play off off his opponent's boot. Uh, Pretty good strategy there from O'Leary. He did well, the youngster. My word. Play of the day. 100 games today. This is his 100th game. Michael O'Leary. And will be an important part for the Eagles this afternoon. Kicking from the boundary line. He's going to have to aim it towards the left-hand goalpost at this uh, Port Arlington or Queenscliff end. He comes in. He hasn't done so, though. It's going to stay out there. And he's missed it. One behind. I want to know what, why uh, number four for Eastern Suburbs. Craig McGough got the ball out there. Why didn't he have a ping at him, Ron? Yeah, probably uh, lack of the full forward. A little bit of lack of confidence, maybe. You would have kicked that uh, left or right. <laughs> I would have kicked it out of the park. One, yeah. two, eight, Eastern Suburbs. Thompson yet to score on the LBW Charter Accountants. First quarter scoreboard. Kicking by Harris comes member side looking for Timmy Gardner and also McFarlane. Punch away by Hobbs. Gardner picks it up, gets away again. Handball underneath the Nan Curvis is okay. He handballs to Lamb on the wing. If it sits, he's all right, but Thompson comes at him. Oh, good play, though. Got it on a string there, Lamb. Goes towards half forward. Kicks it long. Richardson and Rundle. You'd think Richardson, but did he give a push? Yes, he did. Umpire Bertie saw it. And Alan Rundle will take it at half back. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate there. He did all the right things, Richardson, run him under the ball, but the, just the a little bit arms of a nudge. came out, yeah, and uh, gave himself away. Had, uh, a nice pass there from uh, Alan Rundle, the skipper of Eastern Suburbs, and picks out Fulson. And I'm pleased to see Alexis Fulson out on the ground for the Suburbs. He can play footy. And as we show you, Ray Bottoms, left foot kick, put McGough under a bit of pressure. But Irvin, oh, good work there from young Dan. Uh, doing very well out there on that outer side, half forward flank. And it's uh, he's found the boundary line. On that outer side of the ground, have a throw in on that centre wing <laughs> where all the GDFL flags are just wafting fluttering. in the breeze. Fluttering. Or oh, wafting. <laughs> Something wafting up here, I tell you. <laughs> We've been going nine and a half minutes in this first quarter, and the suburbs have the lead. One, two, eight. They lead Thompson, who have yet to score. They've had a couple of forward forays, though. Haven't been able to make anything of them as yet. Boundary throw in on the attacking side of wing for the Eagles. Reuter and Taylor. Taylor stands his ground, Reuter over the top there, gets it down towards Chris Gardner, then he gives it to his brother Tim, puts him under pressure, but he gets away, gives it to Burke, right foot kick around the corner on the wing, Radford can't trap it, Grosdenowski can, he's had a good start to the game, gives a handball over to Hobbs, Hobbs switches play over towards Reuter and Gardner, Reuter and Gardner, the two veterans of this contest here this afternoon, Reuter runs it towards the boundary line, then will try and keep it in, he can't do so though, and Chrissy Gardner, five games off 250, and Robbie Reuter wouldn't be too far off 200, so a bit of experience between those two this afternoon. Yes. Certainly, and uh, Reuter doing very well on that occasion uh, with a bit of strength. And uh, well, this ball's out of bounds now. Right that half. That bloke just called you a liar. Yes, I know. He doesn't know me very well. <laughs> As we see now, opportunity. Eve Stein, good work there. Knocked on Should've by Richardson. Should have probably marked the ball as it's now spilt to where Rundle's quick kick up to half forward is well marked. And uh, yeah, Christian McFarlane playing for the Thompson Tigers. Obviously recovered from that bad ankle injury, and uh, he's kicked out a poor one. 
Goes towards Taylor, who try, runs straight through. Wembridge tries to get the handball away. Wembridge won't be standing in there again, I don't think. Gets it out <laughs> wide to Gardner. Hobbs wraps him up. Does he duck his head? Oh, he didn't. He got a high tackle, so it's play on now, as he always does. Goes to the outer side. It's a race on between Nan Curvis and also Danny Irving. He gets across there. He's got Thompson in support, but Nan Curvis kicks it off the ground. Then great pick up. Drops the ball. Yes. Back towards Humphrey and Irving. Irving close to the banjo line. Will want to see it over, but he keeps it in. Good play. Then he gets a tackle. Gives it back to Rowbottom. Clearing left foot kick out onto Godfrey Street, and it's going to be a free kick to Anthony Lamb at half forward for the Tigers. Good pressure early stages, fellas. That uh, yeah, players uh, really got to use the ball quickly because uh, pressure is immense early stages. Left foot kick, a beauty by Lamb into the breeze. Row bottom in front, couldn't hold the leather. Loose ball, quick Ooh. hands, oh, ran into a brick wall. There was young. Uh, I think that was uh, Wembridge. Wembridge, yes. He's copped a couple of good ones early in this first quarter. There is a whistle on play now, I think you'll find. No, he's allowed it to continue. Richardson oh, taps it over the top, it. but again, good work there from the defence of the Eagles. Loughton to Reuter, sells the dummy nicely. Good work for the big fella. The runner-up in the left, uh, Whitley Weddle, medal does Weddle. well. And uh, he finds oh. his teammate, Hobbs, whose hand pass puts the McGough under a bit of pressure. Gets it back to Hobbs. Now, meat in the sandwich. Great tackle there from uh, yeah, Atchison. That was a free kick, yes. And... Uh, well, they mucked that up a bit there, Racing. Yeah, so but it was, that, was out of bounds. Yeah, yeah numbers but, were in their favour. Yeah, they had they? the run yeah. on there and they didn't, yeah, didn't right. utilise it. On the wing now, in front of the commentary box here, Fulson over the back with O'Leary Taylor. Also, oh. on the bottom of the pack there, Lamb gets one too high from Murray and he will take the free kick on the wing. And Anthony Lamb gets it on to Atchison, plays on quickly and then goes through the middle. Paul kick off the boot, but it's going to be okay. Falls towards Humphrey and also Nan Curvis. Grostanovsky getting across there again. Handball oh. chopped off now by the Humphrey B. Bear. Short little kick towards Plugger. It's on the ground. He's usually pretty good here. He's got time to pick it up too. Gets around Reuter, then goes to the left boot, slung as he kicks. Row bottom back there. He's direct opponent. And does he take the mark? No, he doesn't. And is that holding the ball? No, it isn't. Or well, Jesty. <laughs> so it's going to, well, everything obviously happened yesterday at Newtown, but it does, doesn't today. And it's going to be a ball up about 15 metres out from the Tigers' goal. This is this umpiring today, I've got to tell you, is 100% already on yesterday. Well, they're making decisions, aren't they? That yep. Which is a start. Proper uh, ones. Yes, it is good as we see that the, the bloke with the football, given every opportunity, as the hand pass over the top was good to. Uh, that was Fulston again to good Shark, champion. who's killing them out there at half back. His hand pass was a, a little low though oh. for Wembridge. Good enough to get it across to Radford. He's now dispossessed of the ball. Fulston comes in. Tackle. Oh, oh gee, Timmy Gardner was lucky there. Got away with it. Now the loose ball. No one can pick it up. It's a bit hot, that footy. As JJ oh, yeah. caught with the ball and now is penalised. Well, I think that was late. the evening. Yeah. 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 He, 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 he missed the holding the ball, but then gave the free kick to Loughton. Goes wide. Oh, Irving has got nobody yeah. on the wing. Gets it to Lang. He runs on. Grabs as the orators right next to him. He can't stop him, though. Goes towards Reuter at 50. He takes the mark on the outer side. He wants to move it quickly. He's got Murray in there and also McGough. McGough goes at it. Can't take the mark. He follows it up. Grabs as it there. Oh, look at Grapper. He wants to kick another one of those goals. We saw a fortnight ago out here, but he can't do so this time. He goes towards the safety of the boundary line at 50. Craig McGough, a little unlucky not to be penalised or be awarded the free kick for the charge. I thought he would have marked the ball only for the charge. Well, yep, they played that yesterday a couple of times we saw. Yeah, Taylor and Lang. Taylor over the back push, was it? Yes, Lang played for the experience there from Peter Lang. And he'll get the free kick at 50. And uh, the guest video winner this year, Peter Lang. Yes, won the, won the, the guest video cup and he's got to have a shot. There, one goal. How long have we been going, Jason? Uh, we've been going 14 and a half minutes. Not enough. Got to have more than one goal on the board. He's stretching that hamstring, that old 32-year-old hamstring. <laughs> he's probably going to have a shot at it, I would say. And Ronnie Brain reckons he's the tallest rover in local football. Well, he is the tallest rover in local football, <laughs> I can tell you. And the oldest. <laughs> played, la played, last, played last year at centre half 40. He's yeah, now gone in nine ball roll. He goes way. long and is missed. So one behind a Lang. And uh, the third for Eastern Suburbs. You were listening to my presentation at Vote Count Night, weren't you? I was, sir, man. To listen to every word you say, I hang off every word you say. I love you. <laughs> he's, got nothing, he's got nothing else to do with his life, so he hangs off every word of yours. <laughs> One, three, nine, Eastern Suburbs. Thompson yet to score on the LBW Chatter Counts. First quarter scoreboard, 15 minutes gone in this first quarter here at the qualifying final at Godfrey Street. I settled Mark, down after me blew with the bloke on the gate. Mark Harris to kick in, <laughs> goes towards McFarlane. 
Gets it on the half volley, then runs through half back. Goes long towards the middle. Humphrey and Thompson getting back there. Humphrey goes up. Oh, oh good mark good too. Mark. Yeah, played it well there. Goes out wide towards Nan Curvis, who's got away from Wembridge. He goes now. The lead's on from Cow, and he puts it out in front of him. Row bottom behind, though. And the ball over his head. Row bottom. Easy mark. Yeah, good work. And uh, Cow is just having a bit of trouble there judging the flight of the footy. And uh, as we said earlier, it is very blustery. As, uh, yeah, it's well, the idea. Radar doesn't mind it, though, because he kicks it long up to half forward. Looking there for Robbie Roy. Order. Good defensive football load there at half back. Chris Gardner thumps over the line and out of bounds. It's going to be a good tussle this afternoon. Gardner and Roder should be a ripper. Yeah, at half back and half forward there for their sides. And uh, well, the defence of the Eagles holding up well at the moment. Row bottom and also Rundle. Hope you're enjoying the call on 94.9. Guest FM is country football. Throw in Taylor and Lang. Lang over the back. Goes the big thump towards the front of the pack. McFarlane traps it. Handball underneath. It's okay. Can't trap it there, though. Was his teammate. Pushed it back towards McFarlane and Fulston and also Lamb. And I think that might have been uh, Withers over there on the outer side. This first quarter brought to us by LBW, Charlie Accountants. Any stress or worry in your life, give them a call on 216 and I'll take it out of it. Ball falls towards Gardner. He gets it on towards Lamb. Gets back onto his favourite left boot, but then leaves the ball behind. Hobbs, quick left foot kick back to Taylor, who just kicks it in front of him, wrap it off the ground also. <laughs> Aitchison coming across. Oh, good traps it. Gets away. Can he handball? Yes, he does beautifully to Stein. Then gets it back. Handball to Lamb. Now, if he can trap it, he's going to have a paddock to run in. He, he takes a bounce through the centre of the ground. Goes long towards centre half. Ford Cowan there getting back. Loughton had his name written on it. And Brett Loughton, who represented the inner league. GDFL kicks into the man on the mark there. Cowan, handball oh, over the top dude. to Humphrey and Menzies. Menzies will run through and trap it. Can he kick the goal? He dribbles it through. Reuters there. He traps it, but Trippy. he doesn't keep his feet. Nan Curvis does. And a little toe poke from Nan Curvis is enough. Um, uh, Reuters asking the umpire for a push there, but it's not forthcoming. And Terry Nan Curvis kicks Thompson's first goal. Well, if the umpire didn't like Thompson, he could have legitimately paid that free kick, uh, Jase. <laughs> It was there, so what are you saying if the umpire's missed a free kick? Yes, my word, I do. Okay. So, all right, well, it doesn't make much difference for Thompson because they kicked their first goal there. One did, straight. Did you say it was there? Eastern Suburbs, was one, yeah, two, eight, okay. two points of difference on the LBW Charlie Accounts. First quarter scoreboard, we've been playing 18 minutes. And in a this very first important quarter. goal against the Breeze, Jase. It certainly is. Chris. <laughs> Thank you. Back in the centre. It's okay. Ron Bryan's here too today. <laughs> Taylor over the top. <laughs> yeah, can you get that tip of the program? <laughs> <Taylor Harlan. laughs> in the Gardner handball to the echo there. JJ can't trap it. Now Gardner in there working hard again. Wrapped up by Shark. Grovzdanowski, and it's going to be a bounce down. Just and I thought they had a brain to it, Ryan uh, Critters. Ron Bryan. Well, I'll get that fixed tomorrow for you, mate. It's OK. <laughs> Brian by name, Brian by nature. <laughs> Taylor, big thump out towards Richardson at centre-half forward. Can't trap it. Rundle right next to him. Reuter shepherds for him. Grosdanovsky kick smothered. Humphrey in there. Richardson, Fulston. Little Throw slick it. handball. Sensational to Rundle. Right foot kick towards Murray and Aitchison. Aitchison, big it's thump a away. It's a mark. No, it isn't. O'Leary <laughs> now. He's got it. Now he's wrapped up by Lamb. He still follows it up, though. Lamb, good tackle. Aitchison there, if he can keep his feet, he's going to get the footy. He does. Ham oh, well, there's been a free kick for O'Leary. A tackle there on O'Leary against Lamb on the wing. After the ball oh, had gone. Yeah, okay. Yeah. A little lucky. Didn't see yeah. that. But O'Leary's got the free kick, and there's not a lot of movement in the forward line here at the moment. Reuter leads through up the ground now. He's going to go longer, though. Allison gives him the lead. It's a good kick into the breeze as well. Murray gets back. Push, and it's against uh, Eastern Suburbs there. Murray, Aitchison it was. Pushed him just to get uh, a little bit of meterage on him behind him. But uh, the umpire was right there, umpire Beatty, and saw it. And Aitchison it is. Goes towards the wing, Nan Curvis, Reuter behind, big thump away, Radford, Rove, well gave it away, Leary, tried to give it towards Fulston, he now can pick it up at 55 and good go kick. long, good kick, and that's a goal, that's the way to go home. That's, that's what that kid do. can play footy. That's yeah. what they've got to do, when they've got the breeze, they've got to go long, long like that, yep, direct you know, at them, direct don't be, at them. Don't want to be kicking it short, do you, with the breeze? Keep's head will do. Well, Eastern Suburbs, 2-2-14, Thompson and one straight goal, six points, and it's eight points of difference on the LBW Charter Accountants' first quarter scoreboard. We've been playing 20 and a half minutes in this first term. We need to get another one or two before quarter time, Jase. Yeah, they certainly do. You just had to think there for a minute, didn't you? You didn't know it was Chris <laughs> or Jason there. Chris. Yeah, as long as you don't call me Alan, I'm in real trouble then if you call me Alan Dendal. I look nothing like him. Perth. Well, there you go. Back in the centre, umpire Fox, Taylor and Reuter. Taylor goes up, gets it tapped down, but he's going to be trapped by Hobbs. Right kick. foot kick, that's the way to go. Reuter in front. Strong hands Got from Robbie. Shot. Got to have a shot. He'll kick that too. There's no doubt. 45 metres out, straight in front. Robbie. Reuter. Played, played very well, Rob Reuter, at the uh, for, uh, present time. Um, Chrissy Gardner, wearing him close, but he's still a bit too tall for him. 
As he comes Look in the drop that. punt is up, beauty. The goal umpire does not move. Centre metre, perfect Robbie Reuter. Great goal. Kicks his second. Yep, well, he always comes up with uh, the big games and the big matches, Robbie. He's uh, come back from retirement this year, played a couple of games in the twos, and then he's played three or four in the last... In, in, in the ones and back for the qualifying final today and puts Eastern Suburbs to 3 2 20. Thompson, one straight goal, six points, 14 points of difference on the LBW. Chandler counts, first quarter scoreboard. Well, in the middle again, and we've got uh, this time Timmy Gardner, the coach, Alan Richardson, and Chunky, and of course uh, Withers for the Thompson side. And they need to work a little harder as Withers was on the defensive side of the pack. Couldn't take the ball, and Radford can. There's been a free kick, though, and I think it's against Craig McGough behind the play for uh, dispossessing his uh, opposing number. Number four for Thompson in Jason Stein. He'll get the free kick uh, for being dumped after the ball had gone. So Stein in the middle of the ground now. Goes towards half forward. Reuter, Richardson in front. Tap away by Hobbs. Goes towards O'Leary on hands and knees. He's still there. Tried to handball back to Grosdenowski, but it's chopped off by the echo. Goes towards Smith now. He's tackled by Lout without the footy. Then gets one high. The umpire had the whistle to the mouth, but didn't give a free kick. Hobbs at half back. Clears it towards Murray and Atchison. Off, falls towards O'Leary. Reuter leads for him. Kick it to him, somebody But he goes along towards Allison and Harris. Allison goes up. Can't take oh, Gets a push. push. Umpire beat. He saw it. He was a long way away, but he still saw it. And with two hands in the middle of the back, Mark Harris there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Harris has gone about five metres yeah. towards the boundary line. Well, that's good. Now, wasn't, that wasn't on, there, wasn't but it? Now, no, Beattie, no. Beattie should be smart enough to and bring, bring him back. back. Bring but he's not. Um, but hang on. Look where Bobby Beattie was when he yeah, blew the whistle. Yeah, he was at centre forward. Yeah. <laughs> he's about 60 metres behind the point. Yeah, he's been sucked right in. And Allison's right. <laughs> On the boundary line, he's next to the fence. Good work there from Harris, the defender of Tiger. He has, and he's put Allison right out of the pitcher. He's going to kick it towards the left goal post. He's done well, but I think he might have just missed it to the far side he has, and one behind there for Justin Allison. Eastern Suburbs 3 3 21. Thompson, one straight goal, six points. 3 4, isn't it? I think it might be 3 3. That is 3 4. Good it is call. 3 4. It is too. Sorry. Come on, very, Ronnie. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I'm uh, being all carried away with this terrific call of ours here this afternoon. <laughs> and Harris to kick in. So it's 3 4 to a goal. The suburbs in front. Harris kicks towards Atchison and oh. also Richardson over the back. He traps at the coach, then goes for a little toe poke towards the uh, trainer there, Cole McKenzie from Eastern Suburbs. Could have got his first possession for the day, but he left it for the boundary umpire at half forward for the suburbs, and he's going to throw it in. Start play again. The big tussle this afternoon. Reuter and Taylor in the ruck. And they're over here again. Reuter, the runner up in the Whitley medal to Timmy Gardner. So there's a bit of class on show today. McGough runs straight through. And there is Gardner. Kick off the ground towards a vacant centre half forward position. Grobzanowski and Justin getting over Bang, here. That's oh, Reuter goes straight through. Kick off the ground. Gardner runs through Langor. Doesn't leave it behind. But Radford, a little toe poke. Kept trapped by Stein. He's got support with the orator. But he gives it straight off towards Lang at 50. Atchison stands his ground. Oh, good play. Look at that. Gets around two. Then goes just long with a torpedo out to the wide open space of the wing. Wembridge and Nan Curvis. Over the back, Nan Curvis couldn't take the mark. Loughton from centre half back. If it sits, he's in. He can give it short to Fulston. But he goes longer towards Lang. Great kick. Lang was a mile away from Stein there. And Peter Lang took a good mark. Got to tell you, Tim Gardner has a limp. His left ankle, I think, could have been injured in that encounter with Alan Rundle at centre-half forward. The big job this afternoon for Matty Hobbs on Timmy Gardner. The usual tagger for the suburb side. And oh, Pete, go on, Al. Luke, uh, Luke Thompson out there is uh, doing... Stretching his Achilles. I think he's got problems too, boys. Well, Lang has kicked it straight through the middle from that kick on the boundary line from 35 out. Great kick from Lang. And that's the fourth <laughs> Eastern Suburbs. And Noel said that they need a couple of goals before quarter time when they've got them. Yes, now they're looking healthy. 4-4-28 <laughs> Eastern Suburbs. Thompson, one straight goal, six points. 22 points of difference on the LBW. Charlie Counts first quarter scoreboard. Yes, time check uh, shows that uh, we've been going a good... Uh, 23 and a half minutes of this first quarter and another one before the bell would make uh, Mick Thompson, the coach of Eastern Suburbs, very happy. Hobbs gets it out of the uh, ruck contest from Reuter and Taylor there. Chopped off though by Withers. He can run away and set something up. Short little kick over the back of McFarlane and Rundle. Cowan comes out. Rundle runs straight through though. Good play by him. He's got Reuter wide on the halfback flank running towards the wing. He can take the mark, draw the player over the top to O'Leary but he sits though now. Lamb held him up well. He did, didn't he? Yep. 
jumped up, so he couldn't get over the top. And touches the ball on the way through. Stein, that's no mark. Oh, he's paid the mark, and it was a touch. Well, Stein keeps going anyway, so it doesn't matter. Short little kick's okay to the echo. JJ takes the mark at half forward. Oh, he's got Christian McFarlane, if he can kick it to him. Rundle behind, but coming out, Collins can't take the mark. R ripped off the ball. Nan Curvis gets around. Handball to the plugger. Can he get on his left? He can, but he can't kick anything there, goal or behind. He's kicked it out of bounds on the full. Good pressure there from the Suburbs defence again. Gordon Collins again. Rocket Gibraltar in defence uh, is Gordon and uh, good to see the kid uh, still in the suburb side after spending uh, most of the season in the twos. Row bottom from the last line defence goes for that familiar torpedo punt. Kicks it up towards, oh, Grovzdanovsky went up high. Couldn't get the mark. Lamb over the top to Withers coming at him. Radford, Grovzdanovsky uh, tackles him. Rundle sits and waits for it. Can he get around one? He does, but then didn't get around. Richardson got one for holding the man. And we'll take the free kick. The skipper, Radar. Goes to the outer side, and Radford and O'Leary can raffle it out there at half-back. Radford takes the mark, play on now. He's gone around his mark. Oh, he's put Rundle under pressure as well. Has to stand in oh. kick. Was that down the field? No, it wasn't. Umpire Beattie had a good look. Grabs us there. Traps it second time. Handball to Burke. No, stands up. Kicks it himself. Goes towards Nan Curvis and the half-forward flank. Nan Curvis, can he keep it in? He's trying to. It's close to the boundary line. He does. Shepherded by Withers. Nan Curvis goes in towards the leader. Plugger getting back there. Grozdanowski and Reuter as well to chop it off. Hobbs straight through. Good play, Matty Hobbs. Well. Goes to the outer side, running at it, Stein, oh, doesn't trap it, lets Lang in, getting back there, grabs us, Lang, can't keep it in front of him, now he does, he works hard, oh, great pick up from the big man, kick around the corner, Gardner, running at it, the Ooh. only defender against two, gets a hole, played it well there, the veteran. Well, the, the fumble, as it turned out, was a blessing in disguise, <laughs> mm. because uh, he uh, was tackled without the footy, but uh, didn't handle the ball that well, Chris Gardner, got the free kick, kicks it out long. It's been off hands and out of bounds on that outer side of the ground. In between Eastern Suburbs half forward flank and centre wing. At uh, a reasonable crowd, Jason. Yeah, good crowd this afternoon. Overcast conditions and pretty windy. Taylor gets it out. Hobbs traps it. Right foot kick. Reuter getting back. Coming out. Harris attacks it. Atchison there as well. Harris wrapped up by Allison. Atchison. Oh, here we go. Reuter. Oh, but Harris worked very hard on hands and knees there. Still there with Murray. Tackled by Atchison. Gets a ball free. Gardner and Allison over it again. Work very hard. They're the youngster, the full forward, to keep it in the Eagles attacking zone. Close to siren time for quarter time. And it's 4 4, 28 to 1 goal. Ethan Suburbs, 22 point leaders. Yeah, and Dick Philpott's back again doing some work. Uh, <laughs> the Magpies are here again. Big Maggie. <laughs> <laughs> Goes towards the boundary line and Reuter there, and the boundary line wins that contest. So about 35 metres around from the Eagles' goal. I don't think, I don't think we'll see Dick Philpott at the final series. He spat the dummy, someone told uh, me. He was here yesterday was he? to oh. see his beloved reserves win. Easy too. In the elimination final, yes. Taylor, big thump to the front of the pack. O'Leary runs through, oh. and then he gets wrapped up by Gardner. That's holding the ball, And holding yes. the ball. Umpire Fox said it was, so good tackle, Timmy Gardner. A great and tackle. No point complaining, Mick. You're caught cold. Here's the rib cage, Mick. Timmy short to Jason Stein. And Franken gets it. Knocked the wind out of him too. Very good oh, it goes towards Ronnie Brain and also JJ. Grozdanovsky goes up early, but then Justin Justin comes down with a footy and takes the mark. And Robbie has made five metres on it there, so that's OK. Goes towards Richardson, tap on good to Lamb. Does it sit for him? No, it doesn't. Grovzanovsky back there. A little th throw through the uh, legs. No, you can't throw it like Back that. to Radford. Radford now, handball over the top to Loughton, or sets him up because he's a left footer and he can't kick on his right either. <laughs> he's got the high tackle. But he got the high tackle, so that was OK. What's, what's... And Richardson thinks it's his, but it's not. It's a high tackle, and he can't believe it. But it's going to go to Brent Loughton. That last kick of JJ's, he kicked the ball back into play over the boundary line. Is that out of bounds or not? Last Noel, he used to be an umpire. Uh, only if the boundary umpire picks it up, he didn't. <laughs> Goes towards O'Leary, punched it away oh, from Stein. Letter, right, Hobbs gets around, oh, puts the ball on the ground to kick the goal, son. He has two, Hobber! <laughs> He'll be pretty happy about that too. He loves kicking goals, Matthew Hobbs. Great. He's, played, he's probably one of their better players in this first quarter here this afternoon. Uh, young Matty Hobbs has been very good at half-back and he loves to run and because of his hard effort, he's finished off a nice goal there by running down the ground. And it's not the best part of his game either, the kicking. So he, it was a good kick there. He measured it beautifully, took the bounce, ran away from Burke and put Eastern Suburbs' fifth goal on the board. 5-4-34. They lead Thompson one straight goal, six points on the LBW Charter Accountants. First quarter scoreboard, 20 28 points of difference, and it's nearly siren time here in the qualifying final for 1996. Quarter time coming up, and the suburbs, well, probably kicking with a four goal breeze, have done very well to lead by 28 points. Let's congratulate the Bell Post Hill boys, too, in the reserve grade game earlier here this morning against Correo. Comfortable victory.
factors. And we should yeah. also uh, congratulate Ron Bryan for uh, picking up the uh, footy show pack on Thursday night too, Ron. Good to see. Thank you very much. National hero again, Mark. Taylor and Reuter up in the ruck. Comes towards Wembridge off his wing. Good handball. Radford traps it, then gets it back towards his, his teammate McGough. But JJ traps it, goes long with his left foot. Cow and Robot him in front. Big thump away. Trapped by Thompson. Gets a kick out wide towards O'Leary. He can meet the ball first. He's got support with Rundall. Gets around, guard, uh, around Lamb, but then didn't get around Stein. Lamb works back also with McFarlane. McFarlane handball to Stein. Handball to Lamb. Good exchange of handballs. His kick smothered. McFarlane can't trap it. Radford close to the boundary line. Would like to see the boundary line. And the boundary umpire to throw it in. I reckon Mick O'Leary was stiff. He didn't get a free kick. Then he got rid of the ball and he was slung to the ground. OK. Special comments here this afternoon. Niall Fanning. Umpire, though, throws it back into play. Roy over the top there of... Uh, it's like Christian Smith, is it? Christian Smith on the ball for the Thompson side. Gee, he hasn't played a lot of footy either, has he? No, he's had a uh, broken leg or broken ankle. So uh, just come back in the side the last couple of weeks. And McFarlane also back in the side last Saturday against Geelong West after having four or five weeks out with a broken foot. And umpire Fox is not going to have to worry about bouncing the ball there because it is siren time. It's quarter time here at Godfrey Street and Eastern... And Brucey Thompson tells me there's been a few drops of rain on his bald head. Well, there you go. Eastern Suburbs 5-4, 34 at quarter time. Lead Thompson, one straight <laughs> goal, six points. The goal kickers to quarter time. Two to Robbie Reuter for Eastern Suburbs. Matthew Hobbs, Peter Lang and Alexis Fullstone have the singles for the Suburbs. While for Thompson, their goal kicked by Terry Nan Curvis. Uh, boys, some of the better players in that first quarter for both sides. Well, I reckon uh, the best player for Thompson has been their coach. Uh, Adam Richardson. The only thing I feel that he does do wrong, on one occasion there he tackled um, Alan Rundle up there when he never had the football. He's done that probably three times for the quarter and given away, I reckon he's given away f three free kicks. Um, Jason Stein has been a fairly uh, good player there at centre half back. And really, I, I struggle to find any better players than that in the Thompson side. But I reckon Eastern Suburbs have uh, got Brett Loughton playing very well in the back line. And he's being ably backed up by those uh, big torpedo punts that Daryl Rowbottom bombs out of the back line. And I think Matthew Hobbs has probably been one of their better players, along with Peter Lang. And when Peter Lang's firing on the ball and around that forward line, it seems to lift Eastern Suburbs and they get going. And an interesting stat... Um, even though the score is 5-4-34, Thompson on the LBW Chartered Accountants scoreboard to uh, Eastern, to Thompson, uh, one goal. Thompson have had, got out of the centre breaks. Thompson have had it five times out of the centre. And surprisingly, Eastern Suburbs have only got it out twice. OK, so what that tells me is that uh, around the ground at the moment, Eastern Suburbs well on top. And uh, that is the reason why they go in at quarter time. Very handy. 28 point leaders here this afternoon and uh, what was a very good first quarter for the Eastern Suburbs side and I make special mention too of the captain of the side for the Eastern Suburbs boys uh, in Alan Rundle I thought his first quarter effort was terrific is that Radar? Yes Radar. it is and, uh, I had him down too as one of my better players for the quarter. Very hard at it but as Noel Fanning did say Thompson, yeah a little bit hesitant not teaming as well as they would like and uh, I suppose when you've got McFarland and Smith back in the side with uh, not having played a lot of footy uh, could bring them undone. Only time will tell back shortly with the action on 94.9.